Robinson's uh, News is where, very near where I live, and I, I get my newspapers there, but also bits, bits of news, because uh, after this uh, rip-off degrees thing, I've been buying a few, a few newspapers, and they, they started to tell me um, I've, I've got my priorities all wrong buying these newspapers, um, because there's so much going on locally, which I didn't know about, but I've been, been trying to find out a bit more about it. Um, and it's all, to, it's all to do with these proposals in Havertree and Whipton for making traffic much more difficult. That's dri driving cars much more difficult, which is supposed to make it easier to ride a bicycle or, or walk. But it is causing uh, all kinds of problems. So I'm, I'm, I, I haven't been able to record any uh, sound at Robinson's News but I, w I will for next week and uh, in, uh, as far as drama goes I think I'm going to go back to the buses because um, one of my one of my plays that definitely uh, well dramatic situations then uh, was based on, on the, the, the bus stop which is not far from uh, Robinson's if you if you know Havertree Health Centre, the bu the bus stop's just outside that, and the design of the bus information timetabling information uh, very hard to to read if you if you're not seven foot tall or something. Um, and by the way, it still it still says A bus on it, uh, which is uh, completely out of date. The A bus doesn't go anywhere near that. But anyway. Um, it, it's it's um it's it's a major story. This I, I'd completely missed it, but I bought the Express and Echo for today. If you get to page four, it follows up a story from last week, which I've now caught up with. Um, An Anita Merritt, uh, Anita dot Merritt at reachplc dot com. She's she's definitely following this one, and I think I think I'm right. She was the one who found. The um, YouTube video um, about the bus stop and it re reappeared on Devon Live, which is which is fine. D it, it, it did it did um, did credit where it came from, which was which was okay. Um, the thi what Robinson's News point out is that there's lots of shops. Or not lots of shops. There's a few shops of which they are one. There's a couple of schools. There's a print operation. There's there's quite a lot goes on within this space. We're we're talking about sort of between, um, well, the the, the Havertry Road route, route out towards the motorway, on one side, and the the Pinho route towards the motorway on the other side, and then Pyslow Road going across, and the road going across to Sainsbury's, um, the sort of square within that, um, the idea is to close down all the through routes. So residents could get there, but through circuitous methods, which sounds okay, but I, I just wonder if, if the Exeter Council have been asked about this. There's no mention of them. That's the that's the main thing. I look at this this article, and it's all it's all to do with Devon County Council. Um, there is a dedicated inbox, Exeter Streets at devon.gov.uk. But if what Robinson's News are telling me is correct, then this is this is destined to be a residential area. The the, the I'm not, I don't know about. I can't. I'm not sure about schools. I haven't heard anything about schools. But there's, I can think of at least two quite big schools, with people who arrive from various directions. Where how how viable that's going to be? I'm not sure. But certainly, uh, R Robinson's News are are quite convinced that getting supplies in, doing deliveries, um, finding well. R uh, Finding casual sales then people people dropping by they they don't think that the 
increased traffic footfall from can you say footfall from bicycles i don't know what the what the right word is. I'll, I'll i'll come back to this and I'm, I'm sure other people are going to be looking at this anyway from from this this report a cu- couple of things there are going to be meetings by by the way i i found out about this just from a leaflet um which came which i've now t- gone back to look at i did notice that a leaflet had arrived that was last week and essentially it's all going to happen in august sometime in august when we don't know but this is today's the 20th of july so you would think they would know when it was going to happen but it's sometime in august and there's an 18 month experiment and you can comment during that 18 month experiment um they anyway the meetings at park life that's that's in in Hevertry park um that's on the july 25th from 4 p.m to 7 p.m and then whipton community hall 26th that's the, the wednesday uh also from four to seven and there is a a facebook page look for Hevertry community united and there's a proposal there to attend the meeting at Park Life on July 25th. But also, and this, this could be interesting, there is a GoFundMe fundraising page. Uh, look for Shannon M- McGinley, M-C-G-I-N-L-E-Y. And that's to get legal fees together for a challenge. And uh, I don't know how that's going, but that's, that's quite interesting. And also, I don't, I don't know if Sir Brent Bradshaw has has spoken to any local residents recently, but he, he is he is a bicyclist, and um, that's that's fair, that's fair enough. A, a keen cyclist is described in this article, and he's supportive of attempts by the council to improve the environment, and that's 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 very good. Um, he points out half of car journeys in cities are under two miles and low traffic neighbourhoods make walking and cycling safer and residential streets safer and less polluted. Um, but I, I I, do think he should speak to some of the people mentioned in this article or find if, 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 if he's not, you know, I know he's very busy with various things, but... Um, if there's some some way of Exeter City Council or or uh, somebody having having a look at this, uh, I think that I think that would be be a very, very welcome thing because there may there may be creative ways of um, doing something diff- slightly different that would meet everybody's concern. But th- this uh, just just for me being told you you go you go into a news agent and you say I'd like to buy. I'd like to buy a news program. They say, well, you're, you're spending far too much time on stories from far away. You don't know what's going on around you. That's, it's some, something's very odd, well, unusual then, uh, if, that's, if that's the case. 